Welcome into the KBSN Post Game Show. I'm Brian Schwartz alongside Ryan Chichester and Shane Dennehy. Guys, Quinnipiac was able to come out with a win over Canisius today, but a lot went wrong in the first half. They trailed most of the first half, Ryan. What was the problem? Yeah, more of the same against Canisius. They always seem to have problems early on. I didn't typically care for the shot selection of the Bobcats. They took 14 threes in the first half, only made three of them, when normally they make their damage in the paint and on the glass. They were really playing into the defensive scheme of Canisius. Luckily, they were able to turn it around after halftime. Yeah, they were. We saw in the second quarter, Adelie Martucci went on a 7-0 run herself, including a nice fist pump from her. Shane, what changed into the second half as they went on and on and on? Still back and forth, but then Carly Fabry hits the three to give them the lead that they would not relinquish. Yeah, this, that was really the turning point. Obviously, I don't know really kept them in the game in the second quarter with that 7-0 run and the fist pump. You were talking about really willing herself, her, her and her teammates to the win. And obviously, Carly Fabry contributed so much in the second half, especially with that big three, which is a really big momentum boost for Quinnipiac. And with a 60-57 to lead, which obviously, like you said, they would not relinquish and go on to win the game. And that was really the turning point for Quinnipiac in the second half. Quinnipiac will go on to face the winner of Iona and Siena coming up on Sunday. That game will be on Sunday, and we'll have all your coverage here on QBSN at Shane Dennehy 15, at Ryan Chichester 1, at Josh M. Silverman, and I'm at Brian Schwartz 15. Follow us on Twitter, follow at QBSN and theqbsn.com for all your coverage of the MAC tournament. And for that, we say goodnight on Saturday.